currently in the chat as well. Metro Rail fan, Moobot. Hello, Moobot. Mummer of Two, welcome back. I haven't seen you for a while. Ricky, Russell, Steve, Woody, and Jesse. Right, so this is the Q1 wartime scenario. Two, danger from above. Britain is at war. Many areas of the country are being attacked from the air, and your task today is to take C-18 and move 8X World War I 12-inch howitzer railguns to Bath to help with the anti-air defence. The howitzers are very heavy and are unbraked, so even with a central brake band, you will need to allow lots of time to slow down and should not go faster than 40 miles per hour. They are currently in a siding at Braisedown, so wait for the War Department supply train to pass and then move forwards onto the main line. And we're going to go advanced mode because, you know, that's how I roll right now. And if we're going to go bad, let's go bad big time, shall we? Cylinder cops are open. Looks like dampers are on. difficult to see in this light, isn't it? Never mind. Apologies. Change the side. Oh yes, that's what I was going to do. Carry on to brace down. As you approach it, slow down and you'll see the howitzers on your left. Pass them on the main line and then stop and reverse to them. Um, so I haven't had a chance to look at screenshots yet. I think I've decided that I'm going to look at them this weekend and I'll get the stream reconfigured this weekend. Uh, I've been singularly failing to do anything useful um, on the stream. So uh, I'm going to get that done this weekend. So Monday or Sunday night, if I get to do a Sunday night stream, you will, uh, you'll you'll see all the new screenshots that have been sent in. Much appreciated. So there are no lights on here. Or maybe there are. I turn them on. There you go. Now they're lights. I was almost talking a load of rubbish there. When I say almost, I mean I was actually talking a load of rubbish. We've got a bit of a, a poll going again tonight. Steam, diesel or electric? That's as far as it goes. Just hang, exclamation mark vote space diesel, exclamation mark vote space electric, exclamation mark vote space diesel. Steam. You know what I mean. Steam diesel or electric. Just put split to make sure I've opened up to it. So far, diesel's winning, which is unfortunate for a steam special evening. Oh, uh, yeah, probably right there. Let's run without uh, lights on. It's not, uh, it's, it's daytime, so it can't be that bad. That's fine, Ricky. Good that you can join us. Stops. Let's make sure that we are routed correctly. We are. Let's go and get the howitzer rail guns. Hmm. 
smoking bowl. So this is the original Somerset and Dorset route that came in the uh, the very first version of the game. It's uh, a nice uh, nice route for a bit of steam. Now far away at all. Oh, trees. them to bath to help with the air defense there. Be aware that the Howard's arts are very heavy and unbraked, so allow plenty of time to slow down and stay under 40 miles per hour. We've also got a, uh, a brake van in the middle. Let's get going and we'll take a look at the train because uh, it's quite unusual rolling stock this for the game. Welcome Dark Phantoms and Tornado Ben. So we're having a bit of a steam special tonight. We had a lot of uh, a number of days there. We've done nothing but uh, we haven't done steam at all. So uh, it seemed only fair that we uh, spend a bit of time enjoying some steam. And we need more milk float adventures. You're quite right, Mantra. There's a brake van in the middle, which we may well need if we have to do any uh, hurried stopping. Probably should uh, put the brakes out of uh, release, shouldn't I, really? Get the benefit of a, uh, a downhill run now. Hey, Fipsy on the move, thanks for joining. Good to see you on the channel. No, I haven't, Mum of two. So these are um, uh, howitzer rail guns. There's a, uh, a variety of different uh, war-themed um, freight that comes in the back, including Spitfires on the back of flat wagons. FEF is coming next, Jesse. Oh, we've got a speed limit of 40. We probably shouldn't be doing uh, doing this kind of speed. Uh, Lacutus, this indeed is the uh, um, the S and D that you've got. It's exactly the same route. You just uh, may not have this um, this particular scenario if you don't have the uh, DLC. Uh, Metro, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, oh, I've got the blower on. I don't need that on. And the coal that can come off. 
Well, that's better. Less noise. Uh, yes, uh, what happened to the screen above your head? Um, not sure I follow what you mean. Oh, the screen above my head. This one up here. That's still there, but I've got another monitor. When I look at this way, I'm looking at the other monitor. Just seemed a little bit less weird. When I was looking at some YouTube videos, it looked really odd when I looked up like that. So, I don't have to do that anymore. I still have that screen. It's this in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, hello. What's going on here, then? I know I need a Steam background. Oh, hello. That's not nice. Oh, no! My train's caught on fire! <laughs> the attacking plane has set fire to the ammo crate on the last howitzer. After some quick thinking, you realise that the next safe place to drop it off is a remote siding at Midford. Get the train to Midford Siding 3 and get that last howitzer uncoupled here, there. The siding is just after the 30 miles per hour speed limit sign. You have six and a quarter minutes. This is where you're tempted to rush it and uh, to get into big trouble. Hey Panda, welcome to the channel. And uh, Van Liru, welcome, new user. Well, we'll just pretend it's a BF-109. <laughs> Welcome, Mike. Yep, yeah, there's the car actually on fire, look. Or at least smoking heavily. I'm uh, going to keep the car along and I keep it to the 40 miles per hour because uh, stopping this train is hard work. Welcome, Squeak, and Biggest of the Big Men. Welcome to the channel this evening. So we're uh, in a Q1. We've just been attacked by a, um, in quotes, German aircraft which looked more like a Spitfire, and uh, one of our wagons is now on fire. And uh, now we've got to try and get to a siding. It's actually is very, uh, it's based on, if I remember rightly, this is based on a real world situation where um, a train was attacked uh, and the ammo, uh, one of the ammo wagons was hit and caught fire. Um, and the entire train would have gone up and probably taken out the entire village but for the quick thinking of the driver and the fireman uh, and at the last minute the uh, driver pushed the fireman out of the uh, the cab got the train far enough away and when it all exploded sadly killing the uh, the driver the, um, the the whole sound was saved so that's kind of the inspiration for this scenario I think hey Benny host Mike and 220389 welcome don't forget the poll No, not like that. Like that. Thank you. So vote steam, vote diesel, vote electric. I'm curious to know. What do you like, steam, diesel or electric? Of course, everyone keeps voting diesel on a steam special night. That's going to be awkward. Oh, we're going too fast. Slow down. Especially now. Jeez. Got that 30 limit coming up. Oh, hello, Chris. Welcome to the channel. Alright, so I'm on full brake now because we're going down a hill. And I'm also going to apply the brake on the wagon, so the guard is now helping me slow down. 
and as you can see we are only just stopping this thing so the smoke on the car is um, uh, is done using a particle, a particle emitter so there's the wagon we're stage siding we've got to stop at and we're now speeding all right so we're just going to put some extra brakes on here i know it's cheating but the town of midford wants me to deposit these wagons somewhere that's not going to explode their town Quite far enough. Where are we? We're about to explode, aren't we? Not far enough. Come on. Aha! I stopped too early. One minute we couldn't get going, and the next minute we can't get it going again. Points have changed. Ah, uh, this right. Hey, Dave. Now I have indeed moved my screen. I've got uh, well, not moved yet. I've put another one, a third monitor on the right here. I'm sure my six and a quarter minutes must be just about off. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, I had the uh, the cut off in the wrong place, didn't I? Silly mistake. Bad start to the evening. Well, what would be a bad start is if this wagon explodes on me. I did not manage to drop the howitzer in time. Oh well. I guess we're having another go at that one. I took too long. Try again. Yeah, I know. I blew up a town. That's a bad start. Never mind. It means you can experience that delightful air attack again. Welcome, Dave and Treneka. And Giant Fan, welcome. There, yeah, boom. <laughs> Blew up town. If it was scripted as such, Hugo, you probably could have a nice particle effect um, and uh, have some cool stuff going on. But uh, generally, a peaceful game. This is probably about as uh, manic as I've seen. Right, danger from above. Britain is at war, and I'm not going to say that again. I've said it already. Cylinder cocks are open. Brakes are released, don't need to keep them open doing that. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Fad. Uh, Panda. Welcome, Americano, Actros, and Stewards. Where am I looking? I'm simply looking over here. I can go now. Don't need to release the brakes more. Let's get going.
So don't forget to make your vote on the poll. Steam, diesel or electric. It's just a, play, a friendly poll. I just want to be interested to see what people are interested in. So where are we at at the moment? Steam and diesel are even pegging. Even pegging. That's excellent. That means that running a Steam special not quite as bizarre as having Steam with 80% of the vote. Oh, sorry, diesel with 80% of the vote. But just to be clear, there's nothing wrong with liking diesel. I like diesel too. Maybe we'll do a diesel special. And then we'll do an electric special. What ideas have you got for specials? What's the themes we should pick for specials? Assuming you like this idea of specials. Ruben Sandwich and the Skyrite, welcome to the channel this evening. So you have to make sure you don't put a space between the exclamation mark and the vote, and you have to spell the word diesel correctly. Special. So, uh, what are your ideas for an electric special then? What sort of, uh, what are the heavy hitters we should have for an electric special? Express came out really badly in the poll last night, so I'm thinking the Acela Express is a bad idea, but maybe the M8? For the Americans. Um, Oh, 150, yeah. Well, that's diesel, though, of course. Which one is the challenge? brakes. Come on, let's try not to knock them off the rails. We've only just got to them. That's bad. <laughs> let's keep it pushed up. Right, off we go. Take them to Bath, help with the air defence. Well, let's do that, shall we? Hey Bandera, no, this is not an official site. This is my personal site. And Train Sim is just my Twitch thing. <laughs> Very good, Woody. Right, let's get this train moving. Uh, Giant Fan, I'm a games designer working on the next gen. The games designer working on the next gen. Although I have done more than my, I've done, done my, certainly done my fair share of uh, development, I think, considering it's not what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> New York, New Haven, signalling, steam physics, all sorts of different things. And uh, ACS 64 scripting, all sorts of things, really. The list of projects I've had my hand in is uh, far longer than it's supposed to be, really. That's alright, because it's fun. I enjoy it. So, maximum speed limit for this train with the, uh, the howitzers on the back is uh, 20. Sorry, 40, not 20. And... Uh, 
so we've already played the scenario once and failed miserably. It's more the other way around, Woody. It's um, sort of my knowledge of how steam engines work as uh, helping with, um, you know, the, with doing the programming, sort of make them work correctly. So just coming up on the 40 speed limit. That's not a bad idea, uh, Dark. Woodhead with the 76, the GG1 on uh, New York New Haven perhaps, and the uh, Taurus on one of the on a on a German route. Oh, I let other people get on with the equations, Woody. I deal with the. Uh, mechanics. They're far better at doing the equations than I am. It's all maths. Maths and I don't get along. <laughs> Not as well as we should anyway. I'm just going to try moving this monitor. Because everything is really dark for me. Oh, that's much better. Hello? Where am I? I'm there. Aha! Hello? Almost. That'll loop. I'm happy with that. Hey, Van Lero, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Safeties are going off because we're not really using much steam here. Uh, Dave, um... I must admit I'm not particularly because I don't really get involved in the uh, bug fixing for older products. Um, but have, are you, has someone definitely got in touch with the uh, Dovetail support address to let them know? Sometimes we find people assume that uh, Dovetail know, but... Uh, <clears throat> hey people wizard and scrolllock, welcome to the channel this evening. Oh, what's going on here then? Hello, hello, hello. Well, we've just blown up. We've got six and a quarter minutes. So we need to get to Midford. I'm tempted to say screw it with the time the uh, timetable. So we got until about uh, probably about 16:30. So I'm not quite sure why I'm not stopping at that siding. I guess that wouldn't have been as much fun. Train sim racing, oh that sounds exciting. I've heard of people that, uh, multiple people together that will uh, run the same route with the same engine, particular steam engine, and see if they can't uh, get to the end of the uh, particular, or get to some nominated point first. So it's not really uh, synchronous multiplayer, uh, but it is, uh, it's interesting seeing what people can come up with. 
Right, so we're racing our way to this uh, 30 limit. Yeah, I know there's a 40 limit, but I've got an exploded wagon behind me. Look, uh, that's not an exploded wagon. That is, though. Hey, Cheesecake and ECML123. Let's get this thing slowed down. Got four minutes, which just does not feel like enough to get another mile. Hey, thanks for the follow, Lucario Speed. Much appreciated. It's time to throw down the anchors because we're going downhill now and this train does not want to stop. Where's my brake van? There is a brake van somewhere here. There it is. You put your brake on, I'll put my brake on. I think the guard's going to lean out and press some of the other brakes as well, just to uh, to help out. That's very nice of it, thank you. Hey Marino, welcome to the channel this evening. And uh, Lucario Speed, ECML 123, welcome. Right, so we need to get the back of the train past the point this time and not uh, get that bit wrong. Let's take those brakes off and that one off. 14 minutes past, so we've got uh, 120 seconds. So you can imagine that countdown going off now. Points changed. Get back in there. Uh, no, you haven't missed the FEF3 that's coming up after this. Uh, Danube uh, Marino, best in your Matt and George Chambers, welcome to the channel this evening. I'm not getting any errors on dropped frames on the uh, OBS, so it must be a network bandwidth issue perhaps. Come on, get up there. No, don't run out of steam now. Seriously. Now get out of here. I can do that. I'm actually stressed at the moment. How is train sim giving me stress?
No, I got all the brakes off. Phew, that was pretty close. I got 500 points. Yes, that was why I did this. And not to save the town at all. Now to get those howitzers to bath. We can do that. Let's just back off on the power though, because uh, we've got something of a problem going on with the uh, boiler pressure here. Well, maybe my... Uh, let me just try and drop the, uh, the broadcast quality down a notch if it's causing people problems. See how that goes, guys. I've turned it down a bit. It doesn't help that I let the fire go so low. Uh, no, Marino, the Amtrak will be on Monday. Hellenic dude, welcome. Good to see you on the channel this evening. Trying to get that boiler pressure back up again. So those of you who are having problems, now that I've lowered the streams brought bandwidth down, how is it? Yeah, I'm going to stall because I've got no boiler pressure. Although it is coming slowly. What was that? Sorry, Woody, we didn't think you could do what on the fly? There's no need for sand, I'm not slipping. Uh, Marino, uh, scenarios usually start at 9.30 in the evening in the UK, so work out what time that is for you. So we're not going very fast, but at least we're carrying on going, going through the world's longest tunnel. Yes, Willie, you can change the uh, stream quality in the. Uh, you go into settings and then broadcast, and you can just type a new number and it just dynamically adjusts. That's quite a nice feature of OBS. So, as we speed up a little bit, I'm just, just keeping an eye on the uh, cutoff here, just so that I can uh, maintain what little boiler pressure we've got. What time is it now? It is quarter past ten at the moment.
So what trains are coming up after this one? So tonight is Steam Special. And uh, hopefully I'll have a better performance on other routes. And uh, we are going to do the uh, Bullet Q1, as we are doing now. Followed by the FEF3 in Advanced Mode. <laughs> yeah, that's going to go well. And then we've got the BR-52 in uh, Germany. Nearly at the top of this hill. Nope, you don't need to, would it? As I can see it on the uh, on the bottom right. It's dynamically reduced the. Uh, I can see the amount of bandwidth has changed. Why do you keep seeing a hand pop up on the screen? I don't know. Is it this one? Or this one? What tunnel, tunnel am I lost into? Welcome, Dav8138. Um, somewhere on the Somerset and Dorset. Coombe Down Tunnel. There you go. Thank you, CAD. Alright, we've finally made it to the top. I am very good. Thank you, Lucario Speed. Hey, Marino. Everything I put on Twitch, unless it's a total disaster... Uh, does not go to um, uh, does go on to YouTube so uh, yes you should find everything Get some more coal in there. Oh, the hand! I see. It's the driver. I don't see what you mean now. <laughs> Another tunnel coming up. Well, I do sometimes, Dave. It depends what the disaster is. So, uh, welcome, Ademio, to the chat. Uh, I welcome... I oh, welcome. Put my teeth back in. So, I put the... Uh, last night's spad went up onto the channel. That seemed only fair and reasonable. Okay, so that looks rather like... Uh, a siding... A uh, set of buffers coming up down here. Remember we had that 40 speed limit? You behave yourself, Matt. Come on. Down to one in 50. Where's that brake man? Come on, help me out here. Wow. Okay, lean over and type those ones again. Well, the boiler pressure's coming up, and now I don't care. Never mind. <laughs> coming up on the 30 limit. How about a uh, Stevens Pass scenario next week? Metro Rail Francis. That sounds like a good idea. So now I don't care about it. Here comes the uh, the safeties. <laughs> nice one, Sapphire.
into the 30. may need to press tab, do we? Okay. That'll be here then. That sounds like a great idea, Sapphire. We should definitely get your scenario done next week. I will make a note and make sure we get that one done next week. We have approval. We're going through. And we're stopping in Bath Siding 12. So I've set up a couple of repeating messages just for uh, telling everyone about various bits on the channel. I hope that's not spamming anyone too much. I've told you not to do it more than about once every 20 minutes. Oh, so we're going to lose a load of points now at this one because we've taken too long to get here. Never mind. I'm not doing this one for the points. I was doing this one for the, uh, the uh, excitement and the stress. Apparently I'm very stressed right now. Stewards, if you can find me a workshop scenario that you recommend that does that, then I will play it. Or maybe even write one. There you go. Get that guard to help out, shall we? Earn his keep. Simon Lewis Punnett, oh, I got 292. Uh, one, silence. Thank you. Right, no, I haven't. I've got it downloaded, Sapphire. Uh, I haven't got the. Uh, um, it would be. It, I haven't got the. Uh, I haven't tried giving it a try yet. Uh, Dark, that would be. Uh, that'd be a new way of getting fired, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, Steve, I take it you're talking about um, uh, Stevens Pass, in which case. Uh, let me know what you'd recommend, uh, Steve. Right. So that was that. We finished it at least. We didn't do good time-wise, uh, but we did. Uh, we did survive, which is always a good sign. Right. What was next? The FEF three. Um, right. Let me switch to changing route. Uh, Void Fight, welcome to the channel. Good to have you with us. I'm sure, we're doing a career scenario where this one's going to be clear.